Hello everybody, this is Joseph Norman. Welcome to our ninth lesson with Pure Data. Today we're going to be building a ring modulation unit to manipulate uh, our acoustic signal. In addition to that, we're going to be adding the ring modulation to some of the delay that we worked on last time, but we'll be using that to create tremolo instead of sidebands. Additionally, we're going to be adding feedback to our delay. So let's get started. First, we're going to create our ADC. And after that, what we're going to want to do, uh, let's create a signal multiplier here. And then let's go ahead and create an oscillator and let's give it a frequency of 64. After that, let's create another signal multiplier for our oscillator. And then let's go ahead and create a vertical slider and let's give it properties here of 0 to 1 logarithmic. We're going to create a number box. We're going to attach that there and attach this like so. And then let's go ahead and create a final signal multiplier and just give this an amplitude of 0 0.25 for now. Okay. And what we can do with this, we can just attach this directly to our DAC. Simple. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and create a number box up here for our oscillator in case we want to change the frequency uh, for our modulation unit. Okay, now let's go ahead and create, whoops, delete that. We're going to create another object, Dell right tilde and let's just name this guitar L and give that a tape delay of 4000 and let's go ahead and copy it again and we're going to name this one guitar R okay and then let's go ahead and copy this modulation unit move that over here and then let's duplicate that again. Okay. And then we're going to create another single multiplier here. Duplicate that. Let's make this one a low frequency. Let's make it four. This way, instead of having sidebands, we will get the tremolo effect. Okay. And then let's attach our ADC there and our ADC there, and then we'll run this into the delay. Perfect, perfect. Okay, next, let's create our variable delay, and we'll just name it guitar L, and we'll duplicate, and guitar R. Okay, uh, let's create a pack, 0, 1000, Duplicate that. Let's make a line tilde, line tilde. Okay. And then let's create a number box up here. This will allow us to set the amount of delay that we want. Cool. And let's make this 500 and let's make this 1000 just for now. Okay. And so now we have output here. Let's go ahead and create another signal multiplier. Uh, we'll say 0 0.2 here, and then we'll duplicate that, like so. We'll add that one to the left channel, we'll add that one to the right channel, and let's see, what else do we want to do? We want to create some feedback. So, good way to do that 
Um, let's go ahead and create a low pass filter first. And say 1000. And we'll duplicate that. And then we're going to create another signal multiplier to go under that for each one of those. We'll attach the left there, left there. And then let's go ahead and just duplicate our vertical sliders. And here I'm going to actually change the properties. So instead of going from 0 to 1, it goes to 0.99. OK. And then I'm going to duplicate that one, move that over there. And then let's go ahead and feed back that delay back into itself, back at Del Rey. OK, so what we have is our signal coming through here, getting modulated to generate sidebands and being sent out to both speakers. And then over on this side, we have a delay unit that is amplitude modulation. Essentially, it's just going to generate some tremolo on both of these, the left and right channels, at different rates of tremolo. And those are being routed to the left and right speakers. And at the same time, over here, we have a little feedback unit. So the delay will carry on a little longer. And we can control the depth of the amount of feedback by manipulating these vertical sliders. All right. Next, I'm going to play you a little example of what this patch will sound like when an instrument is being played through. We we'll use, of course, the guitar for the example today. Thank you. 